Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Statement. Today I will be teaching you how to make this boot cuff. They are for the set of the hat and neck warmer that I did with the fist stitch. They are very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're going to need to make them. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click the little bell that way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my video in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you will find the English version in there. Also, in the lower part, you will see some playlists. I have one that is uh, Ruby Stedman English tutorials, and I will have almost all my English videos in there. To make these boots cuff, I'm gonna use leftover yarn that I have from the set that I did before. They had a neck warmer or cow. They are the Lucentre Impeccable, medium 4, 100% acrylic. They had 127.5 grams when we started. Now it's just a little bit. I hope I have enough for the set. The color of this one is dark charcoal, uh, grape punch, and petunia. The crochet hook, 5 millimeter. You're gonna need tapestry needle and scissor. And you're gonna do a chain to measure the outside at the top of your boots, okay? I already made one. That way I have exactly the measurements for uh, the next one. So this is the right size for mine. I don't know if it's gonna be the right size for yours. For this one I did 43 chains. I know it's multiple of three, but uh, it had to be 42. But 42 will be short of one of these for the right size for my boot. So I did 43 chains and I did one of these extra stitches in between the slip stitch and one of the stitches leaving just one in between the slip stitch here. Okay, so that's what I did. Uh, maybe you don't have to do that but for mine if I made 45 it will be a little bit too big. So this is perfect. So I did four rounds of single crochet, five rounds of the stitch, and four rounds of single crochet. And it's very fast, very easy, and the set will look amazing. In front of me, the, you can see the right color because in here it looks blue, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. So we're going to start with this color I don't want to do the chain with the other one to show you because if you are doing this for the set you already know how to do a chain and how to close the circumference and do single crochet so you're gonna chain 43 for mine is 43 so when I have my 43 chains I will make sure I have my 43 you're going to make sure that your chain is not twisted. You're going to go to the first one and you're going to do a slip stitch. This is exactly the same as the neck warmer cowl. It's like a miniature neck warmer cowl, okay? So you're going to chain one and in the same space you're going to do the first single crochet. And in each chain space you're going to do a single crochet. At the end, you're going to do the slip stitch and the chain one that you did to go up. And then you chain one again and do your first single crochet in the same space. And a single crochet on each uh, single crochet for four rounds. So when you have those four rounds, I will meet you here. Here I finish my last single crochet. I just wanted to show you how to finish here. Just in case you don't see in the other videos and you want just to do this part. You're going to do the slip stitch. And the first chain that you did to go up, and this one here, you're going to do the slip stitch. You're going to chain one, and in here, in the two strand of the first single crochet, again, you will do your single crochet. And you will do a single crochet on top of each single crochet until the end. And again, you will do the slip stitch in this one, this first chain. Do the first single crochet on top of the first single crochet and continue. You have to do this repetition, remember, for four, it's a four round repetition. So I have one working in two and I have to do three and four.
Now with this color I'm gonna do slip knot and I like to do the slip knot a little big that way when I do my first chain you don't see the knot so I'm gonna come here at the first single crochet I'm gonna pass my hook pass the slip knot or that loop and do your first chain and you see the knot is just right behind the chain in here you don't see it in the lower part so that's one of four so that's one two three and four chain over in the same space you're going to do another double crochet chain over you're going to count one two and then the next one a double crochet chain one a double crochet Turn over one two and the third one a double crochet chain one a double crochet in the same space turn over one two and the third one double crochet chain one double crochet in the same space like that you're going to continue all the way around and i will meet you here to show you how you're going to finish at the end here i'm going to work the last one and you're going to count one, two, and in the third one, you're going to do your stitch. And you'll see the separation of that slip stitch on that chain. And here, it will give you the same distance. You don't see any difference between the space in between this one and this one, and this one, and that one. Okay? So now I'm going to cut the yarn, pull it through, bring it to the back, and I start with the next color. I just wanted to show you quick something that I received in the mail right now. Um, I have a lot of these ones, but the highest it go it was six millimeter. So I don't have any set that I can use that are all the same in here um, the, for a project so I ordered this set and they are until size 8 let me open and I will show you I'm so excited. Let's see how they feel. Because when you buy something through the internet, you don't know until you touch them. And my goodness, they feel really nice. They're ergonomic. So they really, really, especially the thick ones, they feel really nice. I'm excited. And now that I'm doing a little bit more, cro more crochet, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. They feel really nice. These ones that I have here, I love these ones. I love working with these ones more than I work with this one. I found this one after a while, I get really tired. My fingers hurt, but with these ones, are perfect. Even though these ones are ergonomic as well. Um, but these ones are incredible and now with this set I hope I love it as much as this one because with this one I have all the numbers that I need for different projects uh, because sometimes you're doing a project that you have to change uh, the needle size like I did with my hat and if I had needed a size 7 I couldn't have made the hat because um, I don't have a size 7 like this I have the other other brands but when you mix brand, sometimes they are not made to the right size, so make a big difference. So this is perfect. I have a lot of sizes. The smallest is the two millimeter, and then I have this one, two point five, three, three point five, a four, four point five. 5.5, 5, a 6, 
6.5, a 7, and an 8 millimeter. Perfect. So I'm so excited. I hardly can't wait to try them. Next project, I will be trying them. So I just wanted to share with you. I'm going to leave the link where I bought them, just in case uh, you want to check them out and don't get in pay for it. And not. <laughs> I wish they pay me, the company, for advertising, but no, I don't. It's just that they feel really nice. And when you find a good product, I think... Yes, by touch, I know. I've been crocheting for a long time. I know I'm going to love them. Now I'm going to work with this color. I'm going to do my slip stitch. A little bit big. That way you don't see it. When I do my first chain, you don't see the nut. The slip nut. So we're going to do my first chain and you see, you don't see the nut in here underneath. So that's one, two, three, and four. In the same space you're going to do a double crochet. And it's easier now with this color and the next round because you are only working in the chain space in here. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Yarn over, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Like that, you're going to continue. You're going to finish here with the slip stitch. Exactly the same as I show you in this one. The slip stitch in the third chain. Cut your yarn, pass it through, pass it to the back. And then start with this color again. And the repetition will be only five round. Three with this and two with that one. When you finish the last round with this one, I will meet you here. I'm gonna do a slip knot. With this color. I've done my five rounds with this one. So you're gonna go to the same space and top of the chain three where you did a slip stitch in the same chain. You're gonna pass that loop. You're going to chain one, and in the same space, you're going to do your first single crochet. You're going to go to the chain in here. That will, will be chain number four, because we have three and one extra four, and that number four is in the center. It's a little bit small, but you had to go through it, and do your second single crochet, and on top of this double crochet, you do your third. Now you do another single crochet and top of this double crochet, a double crochet in the chain space, and a double crochet and top of this double crochet. 
and like that you're going to continue working your single crochet until you have your 43 single crochet and you will repeat in here the same amount of round that you did in this border for me it will be Once you finish, you will lose the tails. This one I already tried on on my boot, and to this one it was a little smaller because it wasn't a stretch. And then I stretch like that, and when I put it on top of this one, is exactly exactly the same size. So I'm gonna lose the, those tail. I'm gonna put it on top of my boots, and I will show you the end result. I can't believe it is amazing how far this yarn has gone. I still have enough here, I think, for a hat, a knitted hat. And that's what I'm going to do next to see if I can do it. I love this color combination. So what I'm going to do, I will put them double the strand of each color. And I will do the border with this one. I will do a piece with this one. I will cut one of the strands. I will grab one of the strands from this one. And then I will continue working the top with two strands of this color to see if I can do another hat as well. It's a gorgeous color combination. If you can buy those three colors, I, I, you will see what I mean. You will love it. So I made a hat. I made a cowl or neck warmer. And I made these for my boots. And I have the leftover. It's amazing. I love love this when next time I wear my black boots with my black coat and a black pair of pants I will be wearing this beautiful beautiful set so now I will put this on top of my boots and I will show you well this episode. is the end result and I love love the way they look in the boots it's a shame that in the camera it look like uh, blue but they are a gorgeous gorgeous purple I really love, love this set. I hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And if you make this beautiful set and you want to send me some picture, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stemman Crochet, or my Instagram, Ruby Stemman Crochet. Please share my video with friends and family. That way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you a happy, beautiful day. Bye.